that was fun. I did that. <laughs> based primarily out of Toronto. We've been around for 15 years. Uh, and it's a direct action anti-capitalist organization. So we fight poverty uh, at all levels, against all levels of government. And we fight individual abuses against poor people as well. We've had a campaign to raise welfare rates for quite a long time. Um, when there was the riot at Queen's Park in 2000, one of the demands was to raise welfare by 40%. We went down repeatedly to the head of the welfare bureaucracy in Toronto with a lot of people stuck on welfare long term, no hope of getting work. And the bulk of those people overwhelmingly were women, overwhelmingly were single moms. And so um, in different communities, especially in the smaller community, people just started flooding out and demanding that we keep on fighting for this. We're not scared, we're not afraid, we're not intimidated. We, will, we won't give up, we will stand up for our rights. We are not in We will stand up for our children's rights. My name is Miriam and um, uh, 
I am from uh, East Africa, Somalia precisely. I've been here for, um, this April will be 14 years, which is a long, long time. I have um, four children. Just the, the simplest things was very hard for myself and for my children. Um, providing for my children an adequate uh, diet every single day, putting enough food uh, uh, in their lunch boxes for school was very hard for me. It was an everyday struggle. There is a shoes that is getting smaller on one of my children, or the zipper is not working because the coat is so tight on one of them. Especially when the winter time was so much a struggle for me because I have four of them and um, as a widow, and having not any other income. Uh, providing the four of them with appropriate clothing during the winter so they won't get ill was um, unbelievably hard. Yes, my name is Rahma. I'm from Somalia. I have five children. I'm a single mom. I have 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 I was able to get a lot of nutrition, and I was able to get a lot of nutrition. My name is Margarita Navarro, I'm a part of OCAP, I'm a recipient of ODSP, and I'm a single mother, I have a son. Uh, I really think it's very important to be healthy, right? You cannot afford to buy the food for every day amount you need. You get sick and weak. Well, my name is Miriam Canas Mendes. I am a Latin American activist and single parent. As a single parent, you have to deal with the psychological uh, battle that you go through at night because then you're thinking you know well I don't have enough so what am I supposed to do how, how do I juggle my budget to be able to live those 30 or 31 days right we sort of stumbled upon a piece of legislation that allowed people to get up to $250 a month more per person if they qualified for special diets so if a medical practitioner said they needed particular diets for their health they could get up to $250 more. So we started to speak with practitioners that we knew, who we knew were socially conscious, about whether or not we could use this in order to force a raise in welfare rates. Yeah.